hello this is an art pop look that I created for myself and my husband to go to charity event and I gonna show a little bit so I started with the foundation and you can do your normal concealer foundation routine I use MAC and Jane Ardell cosmetics primarily in this whole video um, and a couple others but uh, here I'm doing my brows a little obviously darker than I would usually do because this is going to be a cartoon and I added some highlight to my eyes and under the brows then I added black lines to create the shadows like in a cartoon I used a liquid eyeliner and I did use a Chanel red lipstick which I forgot to film there's a couple things that I had my camera stopped but this is really the first video I'm doing for the makeup so sorry about that but um, you can uh, Google some pictures and find inspiration and then you can kind of, well I looked at quite a few pictures and kind of like copied some of those, got inspired by them, some cartoons and you know you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing here but hopefully this will help you to um, see that it's not hard to create this look for Halloween or for some sort of special event. It was really fun creating this look. And as you will see later, um, uh, then at the end of this video, you will see the husband's look as well. So I'm adding these lines to my jaw just to create that shadow. I did added lines on my collarbone which I also can record. Like I said some of the frames I skipped because I was just so focused on getting this look we had to go um, 6 p.m. to this event and I didn't have that much time to play around but this whole look did take me about three hours, no well, maybe two sorry two hours but I also did the husband so which you'll see at the end which didn't take that much time but did have an extra time now eyeshadow you can do whatever um, you feel inspired I was thinking maybe to do a violet like a cartoon something or like you know electric uh, like color bluish greenish but decided to go with more neutral like a brown sort of shadow and I also applied the blush and the highlighter like you normally would do your makeup um, I used eyeshadow base primer more primer and base and just trying to blend it out here also used white pencil in my inner uh, lid like lower eyelid to kind of like give the eyes even that more open look I also use Morphe in this um, as later I'll be creating a tear from Morphe's blue shadow because I didn't by the uh, paint just for face so I'll kind of try to utilize what I had um, here we also um, using the eyeliner kind of like a cat eye look but modified which I kind of like exaggerated this cat eye look with upper and also I put it on the lower lid um, which you will see in a minute and you know when you create your brows you want it to look kind of sad at least that's what most you know cartoon I guess would be like so that's why my brows like that have that 
drawing person's brow look. Probably that's not how they do And down. Um, also added big eyelashes, of course, for more dramatic look. There we have the eyeliner. The setting spray, of course. Use the highlighter, which I already mentioned, but here you can see I used this Max highlighter. I forgot some of my Jane Rodell cosmetics somewhere. So I am um, used what I had. And I do look like I'm angry in this video because I think I'm at the house. So now we're gonna put, um, I got this yellow wig from a dress up store, Old Gold in Burlington, Vermont. So we'll plug there. Um, owner was really fun. She gets all those clothes from trade shows in Vegas, I guess. And I'm just adding now the round uh, white dots. Like I was considering between red and white, but I kind of like the white better. The red is just maybe too much red on the face for, my, for this specific look. And also, as you can notice, I added white paint on my lip as well to create that uh, like a um, highlight look and this is I'm actually using white eyeliner on my face to create these dots and this is took quite a bit to add all these dots on the face there is my husband he shaved his beard thankfully for this look <laughs> he's getting surprised with my look to create the fake tears and I'm using this time different highlighter just for more detailed um, application this is max eyeliner which is awesome and you can really you know improvise here with the tears whatever shape you feel fit this is kind of was my favorite part just so dramatic a little bit sad and depressing here with the tears And you can, you know, um, buy store at the store like Party City or any of those stores, white, red, blue, yellow paint. You can also paint like a pow on your, you know, cheek if you want or chest, but I just didn't feel like doing that because it would probably take up too much time. And then I touched up my eyeliner a little bit underneath. Just to give that more dramatic eye look. Continue with the dots.
can never have too many dots. Dots on the neck. This was probably the most boring part. You speed up the video. And my husband coming in to ask which suit for the costume. I would say for girls you want like color mix red, green, blue, yellow. For guys, you know, you can have like black, blue tie, black suit sort of thing, or red. You want some contrasting colors. And here, you know, this is the final look. Should clean my mirror better though. <laughs> of course. So now let's go to the guys look. We'll put some a little bit of foundation just to even the skin tone. And it's best of course if you know you shave before this because I mean cartoons can have some beards and like you know like short beard usually. I'm sorry, I'm totally blocking the camera, but we didn't have the best setup here to film. Um, so, got this red paint at Party City. I was like debating to use the lipstick, but um, since we had the paint already, I decided to use this paint on the face, just the dots. So, you know, I did the brows, those shadow lines, the dots foundation for guys much quicker because you don't need to do the eye makeup you don't need to do fake eyelashes just outline the lips put some chapstick on the lips you can color the lips if you want I've seen people do like all black lips or add some other color cartoon color there but you know for the guy they want to keep it still masculine Though you're painting the face, but you know, you don't want to look like a drag queen, so. This is one of the tedious parts. Decided not to do dots on the neck. Just kind of like the face. Props to Nicholas for being a model here. He's usually not into this type of stuff. <laughs> we put this blanket so his shirt wouldn't get messed up. Probably a good idea when you're working with paint. So here I'm using the yellow paint from Party City because we didn't have a wig for him. But actually, you know, black, blue, or yellow paint is fine. And here's the final fix. Hope you like this tutorial, guys. And if you do one, let me know. I want to see the pictures. Thanks for watching. Bye.